Hi there, welcome to Paint the Kitchen Red. I'm Nina and I share Instant Pot tips and recipes from all over the world on my blog, paintthekitchenred.com. Today I'm gonna to be telling you all about sous vide. Uh, there are two ways of doing sous vide. One is using an immersion circulator, which is this long appliance that's similar to a handheld blender. And you attach that into a pot of water and the food goes into the pot of water and the immersion circulator circulates the water so that it stays at an even temperature. The second method is the Instant Pot's built-in sous vide function. So the Instant Pot company has an immersion circulator that you can purchase, but it also builds the sous vide function into many of its newer Instant Pots. So that's what I'm gonna cover today. So what is sous vide? Sous vide is a technique that is a French cooking technique that has been popular for decades with professional chefs. But recently it's become popular with home cooks as well. And basically you take the food, you put it in a plastic bag and you immerse and you seal the bag and take all the air out of it. And you put the bag into a water bath and you cook it for a long period of time at a pretty low temperature. And this results in perfectly cooked and evenly cooked food. One of the questions that I get from people about sous vide is whether it is safe because they're concerned about food being cooked at such a low temperature. For example, chicken breast. People are always concerned about bacteria. Well, uh, there are two factors that kill pathogens. One is temperature and the other is time. If you cook a food long enough, even if it's at a lower temperature, it will kill most pathogens. So at about 130 degrees or higher, uh, you're pretty safe if you cook it long enough. The only thing you need to be concerned about is that when you finish cooking, you either need to eat the food right away or you need to refrigerate it so uh, bacteria can grow on the food. It's easier for me to show you how to do sous vide by actually cooking something. So I'm gonna cook plain chicken breasts. Normally I'd never cook chicken breasts in the Instant Pot. I find that the Instant Pot pressure cooking function overcooks chicken breast because it's a lean meat. But with sous vide, uh, chicken breast comes out perfectly cooked and tender. I'll be using the Duo Evo Plus, but I'll briefly show you how to use the function with some of the other models, including the Duo Gourmet and the Ultra. The Ultra doesn't have a sous vide function per se, but you can use the custom program to do sous vide. Obviously, one of the first things you need is an Instant Pot with sous vide functionality. Uh, you'll also need Ziploc bags. Here I have a quart size bag and a gallon size bag. A digital thermometer is really handy. I use the Thermalworks brand digital thermometer. Silicone tongs are useful for lifting the food out and pushing the bag into the water. And silicone gloves for lifting the bag out of the water when the cooking is done. I'm gonna demonstrate the displacement method for you. I have a bag with some coins and there's quite a bit of air in the bag and I'm gonna show you how the bag seals itself around the coins as I put the bag into the bowl of water. I'm gonna gently lower the bag into the water and you can see the bag starts sealing around the coins and you can see the air being pushed out. I'll use a pair of tongs to push the bag further into the water slowly. I don't wanna to go too far in because I don't want the water to get in the bag. So I go as far as I can go without getting the opening into the water. And now I can seal the bag all the way. Now you can see that the bag is pretty well sealed and there's no air around the coins. And I would say it's as good as a vacuum seal. Okay, we're now ready to start the sous vide process. I'm gonna start by adding warm tap water to the inner pot. You can use cold water, but it'll just take a little longer to heat up the water. So I like to add warm water to give the Instant Pot a head start to get to the target temperature. 
Obviously, you don't want the water to be any hotter than your target temperature. And you need to have enough water to have the bag submerge in the water. I filled it up to about the half full mark because I only have two pieces of chicken that I'm putting in. For the Duo Evo Plus, what we'll first do is press the sous vide button and uh, you can select custom if you want to and set the temperature that way or you can select whatever type of food you're cooking. In this case, I'll be cooking poultry and I press the button. Um, it is set at 145 degrees right now because that's what I last used and you can change it and so I'm going to keep it at 145 press the button again and then set the time I'm going to do two hours and then all I do is press start if you have an ultra and you want to use the sous vide function you'll need to select the ultra setting press the knob to start changing the settings for the ultra. It's blinking on the time, so you press the knob to start changing the time. And we're going to make it two hours. It's very sensitive, so you gotta move it a little slowly. It's at two hours now, so you press the knob to confirm the selection. Turn the knob to go to the next setting. The pressure is set for none, which is what we want it to be, but if yours is set for low or high, what you would do is press the knob and turn the knob to toggle between none, low, and high. So the none is blinking, so we press the knob to confirm that. Turn the knob for the temperature and press the knob to change it. So it's low, medium, high, and custom. We want to go to custom. And right now it's set for 150 degrees. So I'm going to press the knob to change the temperature. And I'm going to set it for 145 degrees. And we press the knob to confirm the selection. And the delay start is off. The keep warm timer is off, everything is fine, so I'm going to go ahead and confirm everything by pressing start. If you have an Instant Pot Dual Gourmet, first thing you do is press the sous vide button, and now you can change the temperature by pressing minus or plus, and we're going to go to 145 degrees and press sous vide again to change the time. Press minus or plus to change the time. We're gonna go to two hours. And there'll be a short delay uh, after which the display will change to on. And that means that the Instant Pot is starting to heat up. If you have an Instant Pot model that I've not covered in this video, for example, the Duo SV, you should be able to use the instructions for the Duo Gourmet because the display panel has very similar buttons. Now the Instant Pot will heat up the water to the temperature that I've indicated, which is 145 degrees. And when it is hot, the Instant Pot will beep. If you wanted to, you could just cover the Instant Pot. And you don't even have to close it, but this allows the water to heat up faster. While this is happening, I'm going to get the chicken ready. I place the chicken in the Ziploc bag, laying the pieces flat side by side using a pair of tongs. and try to get out as much air as possible and close the Ziploc almost all the way, leaving about an inch to an inch and a half to allow the air to escape when I lower the bag into the water. If you wanna avoid wasting Ziploc bags, you can use these reusable sous vide cooking bags, 
which are um, washable in the dishwasher and they come in multiple sizes. I happen to have a gallon size bag. I'll quickly show you how the bag works. It's basically a Ziploc bag and you put the food into it and it has an opening over here that you put a snorkel into. And once the bag with the food is in the water, you remove the straw or the snorkel and cover the hole with a cap. Okay, so the Instant Pot has beeped, letting me know that the temperature has been reached. So I'm gonna use my Thermopen thermometer to measure the temperature and make sure that it is what it's supposed to be at and looks like we have reached our desired temperature. And so I'm ready to put the chicken into the Instant Pot. If you measure your temperature and you find that it's not where you want it to be, you should change the sous vide temperature setting to be a little bit higher or lower, whichever way you need to change it to. So it is, it gets to the desired temperature. These Instant Pots are not that accurate in terms of temperature. They're off by a few degrees or they can be. And so it just depends on what kind of Instant Pot that you have. So that's just a fair warning to just be careful. Okay, I'm ready to put my chicken breasts into the water. If you'll recall, I left a one inch opening in the Ziploc bag. And I'm gonna push down the bag. Just wanna make sure that the opening doesn't go below water. But as you push the bag down, uh, the air comes out of the Ziploc bag. And this is called the displacement method of sealing the Ziploc bag. And go ahead and seal it the rest of the way. And you'll see all the meat is sitting on the bottom and the bag is on top. Now I'm gonna close the Instant Pot. So the chicken will cook in the sous vide for about two hours. And at that point, I can take it out and sear it in a pan, or I just put it in the refrigerator and use it as needed whenever I need some chicken breast in a recipe. Okay, I'm ready to open the Instant Pot. Let's remove the chicken. It's a bit slippery with the tongs. You might want to use silicone mitts that I mentioned earlier to remove the bag from the water. Now let's remove the chicken from the bag and let it rest for a bit to allow the juices to flow back into the meat. Now I made this chicken with no spices just to show you the technique, but you can add dry spices or a marinade and use the same exact technique. If you wanted to cook other kinds of meat, like steak or pork, anything really, just find a recipe for sous vide. I like to use America's Test Kitchen and use the timings that they suggest, but you can use the same technique that I showed you today. Most recipes have a range of temperature and cook time. Uh, make sure you don't go below the minimum temperature and cook time in order for the food to be cooked safely. Hopefully I've given you enough information that you can get started with your first sous vide recipe. I suggest that you start simple, uh, maybe a chicken breast or something simple and um, a, a smaller quantity so you don't waste food. And once you do that, then you can do more, you can do a larger quantity of food or something more complicated. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and stay tuned for the next video and thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.